Okay, so uh, some people requested to see how I'm going to etch um, my logo. And what I have is a very inexpensive uh, chart. You can see the 12-volt uh, converter up there running down to this line that goes to this positive and elective lead. Those are um, basically battery trickle chargers. Um, um, they provide enough... Uh, uh, volts and amps to do this. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think that the um, uh, etching process uses more than uh, a half an amp or an amp at that. So it's it's uh, um, just my way of uh, putting my logo. So anyway, I'm going to try and prop this up here so that um, uh, you can see me do it. Let me see how I can do that. It doesn't block things. Um, there we go. So again, there's my connectors, and you'll see me pull those in. So I'm going to set this here, and you should be able to see me do this. So what I'm going to do, I've got some of my shop towel here, and I think you can use a Q-tip or many different things. I just happen to use shop towels because they're convenient. I've got them laying around. And I'm going to get a little bit of tape to hold that in place because this will essentially will be my paintbrush of sorts to um, etch this knife with my logo. You haven't seen my logo is right there, it's just a sticker. I uh, have a friend who used a uh, Cricut machine to cut out all of my logos for me. I also have them a little larger that I used a uh, Brother uh, stencil printer. I've put that down, sealed all around where I don't want moisture to touch. The next thing I'm gonna do, and you can see I put a little logo uh, right there on my finger, a little arrow, just testing it out before I started. I always like to do that. And here's where I've um, done logos before, before I start. But I'm going to hook the negative lead uh, to the knife itself. Um, the positive lead, again, I just used some um, alligator clips and some wire. And I'm going to connect that to my uh, little screwdriver here to make the uh, connection. Next thing I do is I soak my paintbrush I've made in a little uh, salt water solution. I don't have a ratio for that. I just make a strong salt water solution. These are just some little daubing flags. And uh, now I'm going to just come down vertically. And at first I'm not getting any sizzle. So I'm going to come back, a little bit more solution. And I don't know if you can see that. I'll pull the phone over. It's sizzling and the image is getting black down below. And I kind of move it around, count to five. Sometimes I don't count to five. Just kind of get a feel for it. My image is turning very black. And my solution is sizzling. It's turned quite black as well. dipping it back in the solution here and then I'm going to connect it back to the top. I don't know if you can see that sizzling or not. The metal gets hot 
you can see I've got one finger on here just seeing how hot that's getting and it doesn't get so hot that it would burn you per se but I like to move it around a little bit so it doesn't get too hot in one place now you can see I'm getting kind of a, a slurry and that's the metal coming off of the uh, knife blade which means I'm getting a good image it's what you want to see my logo is uh, Beardman knives or uh, Shagman Niver um, so my logo because I'm kind of a Bigfoot fanatic I don't necessarily believe in him but I'd like it like for him to be cool to be here to be cool um, if I ever see one, I'll probably pee in my pants and run off through the forest. But um, anyway, if he exists, I'm. Uh, but my logo uh, is a grove of trees with a Bigfoot walking through them, and I enhanced the beard on the Bigfoot. So. Beardman Knives, Outdoor Knives, Shagman Niver. And if you are a bearded guy, I suggest you look up Shagman Klubin, Beardman Club, on Facebook. S-K-J-E-G-G-M-E-N-N-K-L-U-B-B-E-N. And if you have a beard and you want to join a beard club, it's a great club to join. Best one I found on Facebook. So much so that I set up a chapter here in the United States with their permission. And I'm in the process of uh, getting some members. Got, got one. Plus me, that's two. And... Um, we will, uh, you can see that's quite dark now. Um, but once this whole COVID thing goes away, we hope to get many more. So now I'm going to daub all this liquid off of here. And when I take it off, the knife is probably going to look pretty ugly where the image is. But there's a little magic trick making it all look good again and you can see just how I think you can see just how black it got there got to take the last of the decal off and again it's not very pretty yet Still, not the prettiest. But what I do to fix that, I'm gonna take some of the last sandpaper I used, which was 1200 on this particular one, and I'm gonna use that to clean my logo up. And when I get done, You will see I've got a really cool Bigfoot in here. I'm gonna, I always do a little uh, Sharpie just to darken it up. Not that Sharpie will stay that long. Just enables people to see it a little bit better. I clean it up. Some people use gun bluing. I, uh, I think that's one way to do it. Some people have ACDC. Uh, etchers well they'll uh, etch it um, in DC and then darken it up in AC um, I pretty much just like a natural image and what happens over time is that section gets dark and it uh, that section gets dark and it just kind of fills in anyway it looks pretty cool 
when I get done here, I will tell you I'm going to take some Windex and clean this whole thing up a little bit so that I don't um, have any um, here I'll wet sand this a little bit there it goes now this still needs to be polished out a little bit So I need to uh, polish this blade out now, but now you can see uh, where it will come into focus at there, but you can see that I've got a detailed Bigfoot walking through the forest. And that's how you etch a blade. Have a good day.